Wow, one new spring gate recently installed, absolutely trashed. I can only put it down to kangaroos. G'day folks, Jason from the Outer Palm here. I'm going to run through the installation of a few spring gates. And as you can see from the intro, I had a few issues after installation and I don't know how I'm going to control it. So there's a handle, there's a spring. Just like this, yep. Add the handle to the spring. I've added Now it's just a case of drawing them to the pre-made loops here on the end of the New Zealand A-frame brace. Just simply screw them around. Straighten them out. One done, two to go. Three of those join, we'll hook them up to the other end. All done, there's only one left thing to do. I want to put a spreader bar directly in the middle here, the spring gate. Reason being is, I know there's a family of kangaroo on the property. And since we've had the fence up, even though the spring gate hasn't been here, or the fence hasn't been on, rather than try and go through the fence, they've been walking around and coming through these gateways. So it's going to be new to them to see a gate now up. And that's just a visual aid for them. Also, I want to introduce the livestock in here. But because we've got kangaroos in the area, I'm not sure how they're going to go with these spring gates up. I want to leave it at least three days before we introduce the livestock into this property or into this small area. I'll keep an eye out during those three days before or prior to the livestock coming in and see if the kangaroos haven't wrecked these spring gates or got tangled in them or knocked them over. I'd hate to put the livestock in and then the kangaroos end up pushing the gateway out. There's still sections of my property I don't, I'm trying to keep the livestock out of. What a mess. I hope it's salvageable. I come across it yesterday whilst I was doing a sabbatical and slashing. Turn it off. I'd say one of the joeys or have come through, trying to squeeze through, touched it, stressed out because of the voltage. It's only about 7.8 7 to 8 kilovolts. It would have got a bit of a jolt. Then obviously it's kicked and thrashed around, hence why this is all tangled. It doesn't look to be too bad. That's the bottom one, that should just untangle. That was easy. That's the top handle that's off. Hopefully. Great. 
spring here. It's out of shape. Hopefully it's not too bad and I can still use it. Honestly, how does that happen? It's in a lock with that one. on this one I see what they've done as you can see the bottom one is in good nick the way it should be all coiled up the same as the middle one but as for this top one you can see the springs being stretched I'd say they bounced over it either caught it with their tail or the leg got entangled kept hopping away stretched it and then obviously it hasn't come back that so would have went and then sprung back and stretching probably a meter of it. We'll tension it up and see if it's going to be any good. Oh, a bit low, go a bit higher. Seems to be working all right. You can see it's a bit strung out there or stretched, but I reckon it's going to be all right. You don't want that to happen too many times, though. We'll just put see this back on. That appears to be all right. I might drop that down to there. I had it on the top one, but it's a bit high. I'm thinking that's where the kangaroos. Well, not thinking. I know the kangaroos hit themselves here because that's where it stretched from there to there. A bit low and they might bounce over it. I also noticed the spring inside this handle has been dislocated from the hook as well. So there's enough spring and tension in the spring itself. It doesn't matter about that spring and that handle being popped off by the root. Keep an eye on it. Hope it doesn't happen very often because I'm bringing the cows in here this week. I don't want to knock them over and get back in there. I just slashed it. Righto. Righto guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. We hope you have a good morning, a terrific afternoon, and an awesome evening. Wherever you watch this from, and we'll catch you later. We got the farm. See if the heifers have their calves yet.